Imagine your images coming to life as talking avatars. Get ready to transform static images into talking avatars in just a few simple steps. Stay tuned to learn the magic. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got something really cool to show you. We'll be diving into the world of animated avatars, and guess what? You'll be able to make your own talking avatars using just an audio clip and an image. And the best part? It's absolutely free if you're as excited as I am about this. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you won't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Now let's get started. Alright folks, for this magical process, we're going to use an open source gem called Sad Talker. Maybe DID not in trouble, but it's a fantastic alternative to other platforms like DID Studio. And trust me, the results are pretty darn impressive. The way it syncs the face and lip movements with the audio is quite natural, and the cherry on top, it won't cost you a dime. You can churn out as many videos as your creative heart desires. And the quality is surprisingly good. To run Sad Talker, you have multiple options besides using your local machine. You can access a free Google Colab, hugging face spaces, and even integrate it as an extension in your automatic 1111. Furthermore, there's a free demo available on replicate.com. Hugging face takes a long time to generate results or sometimes presents errors. And Google Colab on the official Sad Talker GitHub page also encounters errors and fails to work. However, I managed to find a solution for this. And today, I want to generate a talking avatar using Google Colab with its code having been modified to ensure it's working. Before we delve into the main process, it's important to start with hugging face. I want to show you some essential configurations before we get started. So let's explore it together. Here's a free demo running on Hugging Face. When you're in the Hugging Face demo, you'll find the option to upload both your image and your audio files. They offer several different demos that you can check out. Let's focus on the second demo. We can see settings which is incredibly useful later for a better understanding of the process in Colab. Stay tuned because next, we'll transition to Google Colab to make the real magic happen. Now, let's talk settings when you're working with Sad Talker. You'll notice some key configurations that can make your avatar shine. You've got the per process options with crop. Focusing on the face and full embracing the entire image. Also, there's the still mode. Enable it if you want your avatar's head movements to be more subtle. And let's not forget about GFP GAN. This little trick can significantly enhance your avatar's quality. As you can see, choosing the crop option in this full image focuses solely on the face. Let's give it a play. 前回の内容ではまだまだ表面までしか触れていませんでした。奥に進むにつれ、誰も知らない事実が明らかになるでしょう。If you want to know about all other configurations, you can click here and on this page, you will find all advanced configurations. Enhance mode, still mode, per process, and more. Alright, the moment you've been waiting for, Google Colab. In the comments or description, I've dropped the link to Sad Talker's GitHub page and the modified Google Colab notebook. First things first, make sure to save a copy in Drive and enable the GPU. Once that's done, connect and run cells 1 through 5 in sequence. Before we proceed to the sixth cell, we need to prep our materials. Head to the examples folder. Find the source image folder and upload the image you want to work with. For the audio, head to driven audio in the examples folder and upload your chosen sound. Remember, images must be in PNG format and audio in WAV format. 
Now, in cell number 6, it's time to put your image's name in. And hit that Run button. Moving on to cell 7 in this cell, it's time to enter the name of your audio file. And here's where the magic really happens. This is where you set up your avatar's animation settings. Remember still mode and all those other cool options. We talked about you've got the power to customize for now. Let's go with the default settings and see what happens. Stay put and let cell 7 do its thing. You're just moments away from seeing your animated avatar come to life. When it's ready, you can find it in the result folder before you rush to download. Why not take a quick look at what you've got? The last cell gives you a preview. Imagine your images coming to life as talking avatars. Get ready to transform static images into talking avatars in just a few simple steps. Stay tuned to learn the magic. If you're happy with what you see, hit that download button and save your animated avatar. Looks good. But I want to focus more on the face and have more movement, so I'll disable the still mode and opt for the crop option. Let's run it and see the result. Let's download the result and play it. Imagine your images coming to life as talking avatars. Get ready to transform static images into talking avatars in just a few simple steps. Stay tuned to learn the magic. I'm happy with that. More movement and focus on the face. And there you have it folks, your very own talking avatar. Brought to life using Google Colab and Sad Talker. Wasn't that an exciting journey? If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing content. Thanks for joining me today and until next time, keep creating and exploring.